Hello, my name is Brittany Palmer and I'm a student from Cabrini College. And I would like to take the time to educate you about child abuse if you haven't already been. This is a topic that not only affects these children being abused, but our society as a whole, by hindering us from <clears throat> progressing as human beings and positive additions to society. According to safehorizon.org, younger children are more likely to be abused. Over 25% of abused children are under the age of three, while over 45% of abused children are under the age of five. This topic often falls to the wayside as far as media coverage is concerned, considering other topics are deemed as more important, such as topics related to celebrities. For, in fact, when celebrities are accused of child abuse, they're all over the media. Adrian Peterson, for example, a football player for the Minnesota Vikings, was recently in hot water after information was leaked that Adrian beat his son with a tree branch. Yes, this was a story that the world needed to know. However, this kind of thing happens every day and we don't hear much about it. All according to childhelp.org, the United States loses on average between four and seven children every day to child abuse and neglect. So why exactly does child abuse happen? Questland government believes <coughs> child abuse stems from seven different reasons. Number one, isolation and lack of support. If there is no one to help you with the, reigning, the raising of your child, whether it be physically or mentally, the stress can become unbearable. Number two, stress itself. So many things can lead to stress, financial issues, relationship issues, etc. Number three, unrealistic expectations. There are many people out there who want their children to be exactly how they would like them to be, when in reality, that's just not realistically possible. Number four, lack of parenting skills. If you were never shown how to be a parent, how could anyone expect you to be a good one? Being raised in an unstable environment can make you raise your child in one. Number five, drug and alcohol problems. You're not yourself under the influence of any substance or alcohol. Not being in your right state of mind definitely doesn't help you with raising a child. Number six, low self-esteem and self-confidence. Many know they aren't fit parents, but don't do anything about it. This results in harming the child for making them feel this way. And then lastly, number seven, which is poor childhood experiences. It's very hard to break the cycle of bad parenthood. I'd like to briefly tell you a story about a young boy named Dave. Dave was abused as a young boy, brutally by his mother. Dave endured a lot. He was often kicked, punched, and had to deal with things like a broken arm due to his mother and being burned repeatedly on the stovetop for hours, as well as being fed ammonia. This young man's story went viral when he released the book, A Child Called It, in 1995. And later, a movie was made about it. David's story is just one of many. These stories truly make you say something must be done about this. I'd like to encourage you to be more educated on this topic by visiting childwelfare.gov. Education equals knowledge, and knowledge means taking a stand on the issue that plagues us every day. The more we know, the more we grow.